The Lotus Pond Undoubtedly, one of the many astonishing advanced ruins that can be found around our planet. Who built this pond? Or indeed, Polinarawa, the incredible ancient ruin it is found amongst. Were the ancient religions merely reused? May be due to an attempt to claim such structures as their own. For indeed, these ancient buildings and their exquisite features provide an illusion of power as effortlessly as they seem to have been constructed. Any explanation, or the knowledge they were built with, evades us all. Polunarua, within Sri Lanka, served as the country's capital city for nearly two centuries, between the 11th and 13th centuries AD. Just like the many other sites all over Earth, Polunarua is indicative of advanced lost knowledge dating back to a time far before modern civilization even existed. We believe merely serving as ready-built sanctuaries, perfect for re-inhabitation, protecting their future guests from foes, and allowing them a head start in architectural and agricultural development. The three kings conveniently dominate the history of this site within academia. It should be clear to any astute individual that any group capable of creating such everlasting, perfectly precise sites would have undoubtedly dominated the surrounding lands for many years. However, as the truth is, as we would suspect, the reign of these three kings, and indeed our more modern ancestors' inhabitancy, lasted a mere century before being invaded and the ruins severely damaged. We believe that these structures were once built by the dominating, most knowledgeable force upon our Earth, a civilization which clearly attained a greater understanding of architecture than us, the modern man. We believe the evidence strongly suggests this, while there is no evidence to suggest what academia expects you to believe, that these currently unexplained, unimaginably advanced ancient ruins were somehow built by our copper-wielding ancestors. However, the choice in what you believe, of course, is entirely yours to make. Many ancient sites found all over the world can no longer be explained away with currently attested academic opinion. Who they say built them, why, or when they were created. The most popular of these anomalies are the ancient monuments that can be found upon the Giza Plateau. Currently explained as having been built by our copper tool-wielding ancestors a mere 4,000 years ago, somehow successfully creating some of the most precisely built and indeed enormous ancient structures found on Earth, decidedly choosing to use granite blocks many tons in weight as their building material of choice. Ironically, although these sites are somehow exclaimed as having been built by the ancient Egyptians, any actual, literal explanation of how this was actually done has never been provided. Not only is academic opinion severely lacking any logical understandings as to the construction of these sites, they seemingly attempt to ignore and, in some cases, conceal additional controversial anomalies they simply cannot understand. Enormous stone megaliths are hidden all over Giza, and especially around the base of the Great Pyramids. And not only were these buildings adorned with incredibly hard granite, but also basalt, a similarly tough stone, and another which would be near impossible to have hewn with mere copper implements. Known as Giza's basalt floor, it is what many people now see as the smoking gun for evidence of advanced engineering having once been responsible for the construction of the site. Amongst the remaining fragments of the basalt floor is overwhelming evidence of ancient machinery, telltale precision signatures left on many stones, suggesting high technology was responsible for the shaping of Giza's enormous stones. Cut marks that could only have been left by high-speed disc cutting, striations, Precise ridges and countless other curious features have been thankfully left upon these stones, and these surviving tool marks could one day be used to actually identify the technology once used to build the site. 
we now feel that the evidence to suggest that the modern attested and mass-published theories regarding the origins of the Giza Plateau, its age, and indeed its creator's past capabilities, is currently incorrect and is now overwhelming. And that it is only a matter of time before a revival of this past knowledge and indeed understandings again begins to flourish. We often cover the as yet unexplained features that can be found within the construction of many of the ancient ruins all over the world. These seemingly impossible feats of ancient architecture, seen by all, yet perceived by an academia that would like you to believe they were completed a mere few thousand years ago. Yet any explanation as to how these tasks were indeed undertaken or completed remain absent. We strongly suspect that a vast portion of Earth's and indeed our own human history is being covered up, simply because those who wish to sell you the answers do not have them. It is far more profitable for those in the so-called know to be perceived as indeed all-knowing, rather than to admit the patent fact they simply cannot explain these ancient structures. They do not know who built them, and most important of all, no idea when they were built. Countless museum artifacts also that, according to these same individuals, regardless of the obvious precision contained within, were created by individuals far less capable than we are today. Often absent or attached to illogical explanations as to their manufacture, these artifacts continue to be attributed to civilizations whose most advanced carving technologies were copper and stone chisels. We feel that many of these ancient artifacts, along with many impossible ancient megaliths, found perfectly placed within ancient ruins all over the world are strong evidential factors to suggest that an ancient civilization once had at their disposal highly advanced precision machinery. One of the many interesting, perplexing ancient features are the ancient star holes, which have been discovered at a number of different ancient sites around the planet. Although places like Puma Punku or Giza's basalt plain possess precision drill holes, diving many feet into incredibly hard stone. These star holes are, as the title suggests, mysteriously created in the shape of stars. So far found within Massachusetts in the USA, and also within Volda in Norway, their existence, we feel, are proof of an ancient drilling technology, far superior to our own today, let alone our recent ancestors. How were these holes created? or indeed why. A number of these particular drill holes can be found within Volda, and a number have also been discovered within the surrounding area of Flint County Quarry, Massachusetts, although interestingly, each slightly different in shape. Are these seemingly impossible drill holes evidence left by a lost civilization? Intriguingly, when the star holes occur, they only cover part of the total length of that particular hole the remainder of the hole still having the typical round cylindrical shape. However, mysteriously, the length of the rifled grooves and their position within the hole varies considerably with each drill hole, sometimes even occurring midway through a rock. Ancient star holes, an as yet unexplained ancient feature, which we find highly compelling. We've covered many ancient perplexing, unexplained sites which can be found all over the world. Astonishing achievements located far within Earth's history, many still baffling those who study them even to this day. Possible ancient kings with unimaginable wealth and power, using as yet unknown technologies to create ancient sanctuaries, capable of sustaining their once flourishing civilization. Perched upon precarious ledges, even upon the tops of mountains, it is not only the construction techniques which evade modern explanation, but on many occasions, how these ancient people built such structures, at such hostile locations, is equally challenging to the brain. Located within the northern Metale district near the town of Dambulain in Sri Lanka is a stone monolithic settlement perched high above the jungle, its stone ruins and ancient sculptures displaying the weathering of countless millennia. 
an ancient rock fort which is undoubtedly a testament to these ancient people's miraculous capabilities. Known as Sigiria, or the Lion's Rock, it is an astonishing structure built atop an enormous rock formation, towering some 200 meters into the sky. According to academia, Lion's Rock was constructed within the last 2,000 years. However, future, yet little discussed archaeological exploration realized many remains and artifacts which date back far before this initial hasty dating, strongly suggesting an original origin far earlier in history. About halfway up the side of the rock is also the astonishing gateway in the form of enormous lion's feet. Above these would have been everything a small royal entourage would have needed to live a life in luxury in virtual safety. The question is, who were the first inhabitants of this gigantic rock fort? Who or what were they hiding from so far up in the sky? And most importantly, how did they build it? Interestingly, many sites around the world display extremely ancient and extremely amazing stoneworking. Some of these remnants appearing to have been formed through some sort of melting rather than having been carved, and Lion's Rock indeed possesses some of this same astonishing traces. An astonishing fort, one which still displays the enigmatic ledge gardens also still visible within ancient Peru, and even a constructed man-made lake atop the rock. The site is rarely visited by the 1.8 million tourists to Sri Lanka, or even the native population. However, as the evidence mounts to suggest the existence of this highly advanced group of builders, such sites are becoming more and more of interest every day. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care. We've covered many ancient, perplexing, unexplained sites which can be found all over the world. Astonishing achievements located far within Earth's history, many still baffling those who study them even to this day. Possible ancient kings with unimaginable wealth and power using as yet unknown technologies to create ancient sanctuaries, capable of sustaining their once flourishing civilization. Perched upon precarious ledges, even upon the tops of mountains, it is not only the construction techniques which evade modern explanation, but on many occasions, how these ancient people built such structures, at such hostile locations, is equally challenging to the brain. Located within the northern Metale district near the town of Dambulane in Sri Lanka is a stone monolithic settlement perched high above the jungle, its stone ruins and ancient sculptures displaying the weathering of countless millennia. An ancient rock fort which is undoubtedly a testament to these ancient people's miraculous capabilities. Known as Sigiria or the Lion's Rock, it is an astonishing structure built atop an enormous rock formation towering some 200 meters into the sky. According to academia, Lion's Rock was constructed within the last 2,000 years. However, future, yet little discussed archaeological exploration realized many remains and artifacts which date back far before this initial hasty dating, strongly suggesting an original origin far earlier in history. About halfway up the side of the rock is also the astonishing gateway in the form of enormous lion's feet. Above these would have been everything a small royal entourage would have needed to live a life in luxury in virtual safety. The question is, who were the first inhabitants of this gigantic rock fort? Who or what were they hiding from so far up in the sky? And most importantly, how did they build it? Interestingly, many sites around the world display extremely ancient and extremely amazing stoneworking. Some of these remnants appearing to have been formed through some sort of melting rather than having been carved, and Lion's Rock indeed possesses some of this same astonishing traces. An astonishing fort, one which still displays the enigmatic ledge gardens also still visible within ancient Peru, and even a constructed man-made lake atop the rock. The site is rarely visited by the 1.8 million tourists to Sri Lanka, or even the native population. However, as the evidence mounts to suggest the existence of this highly advanced group of builders, such sites are becoming more and more of interest every day. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care. Neolithic Britain is perhaps one of the most historically profound collection of ruins to be found anywhere on Earth. Mysterious ancient ancestors who displayed such astonishing abilities of stone building we still have no logical explanation as to their methods, using unimaginably large megalithic rocks. 
often aligned with such perfection, we still struggle to understand where this knowledge came from. Barrows, mounds, earthworks, and other structures built with such intent, we are only just beginning to unravel their true purpose. We have previously covered a number of these astonishing structures, mostly focused upon the gigantic megalithic blocks within their construction. Often concealed and protected under many tons of earth, that although, according to academia, were apparently constructed by primitive, flint-wielding ancestors, display such precise alignments focused upon the winter solstice that the mystery surrounding their true origin is waiting to be unraveled. However, the most astonishing of all are undoubtedly found upon mainland England. A place which possesses four Neolithic structures, with such an astonishing characteristic, it simply defies modern understanding. The first two structures within this astonishing ancient message being the West and East Kennet Long Barrows. Enormous earthworks measuring at 350 feet long, 75 feet in width, and over 25 meters above ground level with entrances guarded by standing stones over 12 feet in height, each of which many tons in weight. These stones somehow quarried and transported to the site, and precisely placed in their positions far back within antiquity. And although there are a number of other Neolithic structures within the area, these four specific structures have been revealed thanks solely to modern satellite technology to contain an ancient geospatial awareness that is simply astounding. It seems, instead of a Neolithic focus on solstice alignments, these four structures were instead devoted to the far more complex lunar orbit, showing a knowledge of the orbit of the Moon far too accurate to be logically explained. The arc distance between the center points of the long barrows discovered to represent the value of days per lunar orbit, known as an astronomical constant. Both arcs present astronomical constants, days per lunar orbit, and days per lunar anomalistic period. These ancient people somehow knew about these complex orbits, so intrinsically, the geospatial alignment between the four monuments have been mathematically calculated to be so precise they are exact down to the third decimal. Questions obviously arise from such an awareness of such complex knowledge. For example, if these ancient people had such an intimate knowledge of astronomical precisions, why were they only capable of constructing such primitive structures which represent such accuracies? Secondly, if they were only capable of building such structures, who gave them this knowledge? Or indeed, where did it come from? Were they, as we have often postulated, a surviving remnant of a far more advanced civilization that experienced cataclysm upon our planet, retaining such knowledge at that time, yet had lost their technology, slowly leading to a loss of this information over several generations of primitive life? Regardless of our postulations, the complexity within these alignments is undeniable, astonishing, and undoubtedly evidence of the past existence of superior ancient knowledge, and as such, incredibly compelling.